Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Continuing with the topic of controlling two Digipot chips with the Arduino. Uh, I've removed one of the LEDs here, the fourth LED, and have replaced it with a speaker. So instead of controlling the brightness, uh, we're going to control the volume of this speaker. And of course, uh, the volume is going to be associated with the square wave that we're going to uh, get from pin 8 on this Arduino and in addition to controlling the volume with the digipot we're going to step through uh, 100 hertz increments we're going to step through uh, frequency starting at 100 hertz and then 100 hertz at a time step up to the 2 kilohertz and then drop back down once it reaches 2 kilohertz it'll drop back down and start over again but the remaining LEDs will do the exact same thing that they were doing before, stepping up in brightness and stepping down in brightness. The only difference, again, is that uh, we're going to control, with the fourth digipot, we're going to control the volume of the speaker. In addition, we're going to have a frequency input, a square wave input, from pin 8 that will vary the frequency of in 100 hertz steps. So let me turn this on. There's no amplification here. It's just being driven by the uh, Arduino. So it's kind of hard to hear. I don't know if you can hear that or not. So it starts off at, at a low frequency and a low volume. So it's hard to hear. And then as it increments up in volume and frequency, it gets a little bit louder. Again, once it reaches 2,000 hertz, it drops back down to 100 hertz. There, just drop down to 100, 100 hertz again. So let's take a look at the circuit real quick, the circuit change, and then the sketch. There's only a couple of changes in the sketch. So for the fourth digit part, Instead of having the 5 volts through a 100 ohm current limiting resistor and attached to the digipot with the wiper blade attached to the anode of the LED, instead we have pin 8 from the Arduino attached to the same 100 ohm current limiting resistor, but it's going that uh, drives a square wave which is attached to the fourth digipot and that wiper arm is then attached to this 8 ohm speaker. So in addition to controlling this digipot which controls the voltage across the speaker and controls the volume, the level at which we can drive this speaker, we have this square wave that we're also adjusting uh, or varying the frequency at 100 hertz steps from 100 up to 2 kilohertz and then uh, it starts over again back down to the 100 hertz and then increments up again in 100 hertz steps. So the sketch is essentially the same as the last experiment. Uh, the first difference here is we have a variable speaker which is uh, declared attached uh, to pin 8. That's an output and it's a constant integer variable speaker pin 8 and we're also initializing a variable called frequency to 100 so that's 100 Hertz from there it's the same because the resistor the digipot uh, is varying the same as it did in the last sketch it doesn't care whether it's hooked up to an LED or a speaker uh, we have a little change here in the comment to remind us that chip 2, slave select 9, register 1, it now has a speaker attached to it. But this is essentially the same. Uh, in the loop, we now have, in addition, we have this tone function. So here's the speaker, uh, which is pin 8, and the frequency. But essentially, the four digipots are being varied the same way as the last sketch, slowly incrementing up with a delay and then incrementing back down. 
in, uh, at the end, though, we have the two delays, and then here we have inserted frequency equal to frequency plus 100. So it, it's already been initialized to 100. 100 gets uh, added to that, and then that gets uh, assigned to the variable frequency as a new value. And we have an if statement here. So if frequency, once frequency is greater than 2,000, frequency is then equal to 100 again so it drops back down to 100 and the loop starts over again with the varying uh, remaining three LEDs and the last digit pot controlling the speaker and that's pretty much it so you can use these digit pots essentially wherever you would have a mechanical potentiometer where you'd have to physically change it um, and you could even, although there was no amplification here, that digipot resistance uh, resistor could be used in, as part of the gain circuit for an amplifier, and then you're able to have a digital control of amplification. So I hope you found this experiment interesting. Feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment. Thanks for watching.